Welcome back, and in this video, we will be looking at basic ways of navigating the 4D model. Let's start by navigating the schedule. There's a task list on one side, and then the bar chart on the other. You can use the divider at the middle to drag and drop and make one bigger than the other. If you point at the task list and use the mouse wheel to scroll up and down, you can scroll up and down your Gantt chart. However, if you point the mouse wheel at the bars and use the mouse wheel to scroll up and down, then you'd be zooming in and out. And keep in mind that where you point at is where you're going to be zooming in or out from. So you can technically use zooming in and out to navigate the schedule left and right. However, clicking the mouse wheel and dragging left and right is a much more effective way of panning through the schedule. You'll also notice a discoloration that goes from gray to white and then white back to gray on the top part of the schedule and that will show the beginning and the end of the first and last activity in your schedule. So if you're somewhere in the middle and you want to quickly figure out where your schedule starts, you can click here and see the model at the beginning of the construction sequence and then click there and see the model at the end or simply drag through the focus time to see how the model is being built. You can also navigate the schedule from the task list by using these small triangles to collapse and expand different parts of the schedule. If you want to collapse all of the schedule, you can right click, collapse all. And if you want to expand all of the schedule, you can right click, expand all. If you want to collapse the specific part that you're in, you can click on a task and then hold down the shift key and use the left and right arrow keys to jump to the parent, collapse that, jump to the parent. So let's pick a different example, for example here. I can jump to the parents, collapse that, jump to the parent, collapse that, and so on. Or you can move the other way around with the other arrow key. You can also find tasks rather than looking at the name and trying to find each branch through the work breakdown structure. You can click on a column and use the control and F keys, for example, to find a task that has the word poor in it, or for example, deck. And hit cancel. If you're so zoomed in into the schedule and you want to find where a task starts, you can simply double click on the white area and this will center it in the Gantt chart. That's enough about schedule navigation for now, so pause the video and make sure you practice all of these before we move on to navigating the 3D model. Welcome back, hopefully you've paused the video and practiced these techniques for navigating the schedule. Now let's look at the 3D model. You can click and drag to rotate around the model. And wherever you click on and drag, that's where you're rotating about. For example, if you click on the last corner over here, it may throw you off because you'd be rotating around that corner. However, if you click, for example, on the center of the building, then you can easily rotate around that. You can zoom in and out using the mouse wheel, and again, where you point at is where you're going to be zooming in to. And then you can click and drag the mouse wheel to pan left and right. In addition, you can go to the 3D view properties, and if you don't have the axis indicator, you can toggle that. And you can use the axis indicator to change between different sides of the model. That's enough for now for model navigation. To practice, make sure you can comfortably navigate through the model, maybe zoom in, rotate about a million, zoom out, and be comfortable navigating around the model. We'll look at, after you practice this, we'll look at a more effective way of navigating interior models, but make sure to become comfortable with the default method first.
Welcome back, and hopefully you've paused the video and practiced navigating the model. Uh, we said that we're going to cover a way to more easily navigate the interiors of models rather than having to pick elements and rotate about those elements. You can go to the 3D view tab that we've used earlier, the 3D view properties tab, and then all the way in the end, in the camera options, you can change from examine, which is the default, and try out different types that may work better, for example, if you're using uh, Synchro on a Surface Pro with a stylus, but here we're going to use the walk mode and the walk mode will allow you to walk using the arrow keys through the model as if you were playing a video game and this can be more effective when examining interiors and trying to record keyframes for animations later on. You can also jump by scrolling with the mouse wheel over obstacles, but once you're done make sure to bring it back to examine. A shortcut for this and then navigate out of the model. A shortcut for switching between the walk mode and the examine mode is Control w for walk and then Control e for examine. In the next video we'll cover selection methods. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.